So let's say we want to start making more and more complicated alkenes with different functionalities on them. How do we name them? Well, we're going to start using the substituted naming nomenclature because it's been easy to work with. But in terms of something like this pentane parent chain, there are a couple of ways we could name this. We could name this four methyl two pentene or two methyl four pentene. Sorry, three pentene. So your intuition may be to sit back and say, well, we need to minimize the first position, so it needs to be a two methyl three pentene, not a four methyl two pentene. Actually, the double bond is going to take priority over any halogens and any methyl group or any alkane branching chains. So even though your intuition may be able to say, well, do this, this is what we did for alkanes, actually what you're going to want to do is name it this. 4-methyl to pentene because the the carbon-carbon double bond does more of the chemistry for this molecule. So in terms of just double bonds and alkane and halogen attachments, the double bond here is going to take priority. Now, let's say I really, as students, absolutely hate you and I want to throw an alcohol in this. How does this change? Well, we need to designate the position of the alcohol, right? Well, okay. So, this is where it's going to get hard. Alcohol is going to take priority over the double bond, so this is going to end up being carbon-1. So, we still have to name it with the hydrocarbon in it. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So pentene to designate that the chain carbon chain has a double bond in it. Then it ends up being one O L. So name it as an alkene, put a position of the alcohol, and then put the O L. Since this is one, this ends up ends up being so here, one, two, three pentene. Two methyl. So two methyl, three pentene, one all. So if we add an alkane to an alkene, the alcohol is going to designate what's the parent chain. And we're going to try to minimize the number on the alcohol before we try to minimize it for the double bond. Now we would name it as a normal alkene. So take it, pretend the OH group is in there, name it, knowing that this is position one set by the alcohol. And then to the end of your name, you're going to tack on the position of the alcohol and the dash OL to designate that this is also an alcohol as well. So this is how you name even more complicated alkenes. If you have alkane or halogen branches, the double bond takes priority in terms of the carbon numbering. If you add an alcohol, the alcohol takes priority over the double bond, which takes priority over the halogens and the alkane branches.